And going after President Obama is something of a dream for Republicans. Uh, not on anything he actually did, of course. For example, uh, expanding the drone program, having a kill list of people that he could just unilaterally target with those drones and do uh, signature strikes, right? Warrantless uh, wiretapping, uh, punishing whistleblowers like Chelsea Manning, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, expanding the surveillance state. No, 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 no. Uh, they don't want to get him for anything like that. No, that's, that's actually what leftist priorities are. Uh, as far as uh, Republicans, they want to get him for things like Fast and Furious, right? Which he had nothing to do with. <laughs> this is literally something that the, uh, that the government was trying to stop. And that gun rights advocates, the whole thing about sending guns to Mexico. Oh, my God, I can't believe Obama would send guns to Mexico to, for, for, you know, to, get, uh, to give to violent criminals. I, I can't believe he would do something like that. Well, guess what? The Obama Justice Department actually tried to stop that and couldn't because of gun rights advocates. But that, no, you know what? None of that gets in the way, of course, of a good conspiracy and a reason to hate the black man. Right. And so that's that. Um, and, and, and of course, whatever Obamagate is. Right. Because that's that's like the newest conspiracy. That's the newest thing that they go after Obama. And, and, and I can't figure out what that is. I don't know what that is. Maybe something to do with the. Uh, you know, sur sur uh, doing some surveillance on uh, the, the Trump campaign involving Carter Page. I think that's what it uh, involves. Uh, but if you were hoping that William Barr would go after Obama for that, well, he poured a little cold water on that by saying that he's not going to prosecute Obama for allegedly spying on Trump's presidential campaign. Uh, Barr did say that there would be some criminal prosecutions related to that FBI investigation, although there's no details on that. Um, he also said that it, he did not expect either Obama or vi former Vice President Joe Biden to face any chargers, uh, charges. Because honestly, of course, what kind of precedent would that set? But the Trump stuff that, I mean, he's already done a massive amount of stuff that would end up being a gigantic minefield. Assuming, of course, Biden would ever make the choice to be able to go after Donald Trump should he win the election or any Democrat who, you know, in, in the case of Trump winning re-election in 2024, looking backwards and saying, hey, you know what? Looks like uh, Donald Trump broke a lot of laws and maybe we should look into it. Maybe we should investigate him uh, and, you know, bring some stuff against him, right? Okay, uh, now... I mean, look, it, it started with Obama saying, we don't look backwards, we look forwards, right? And, and so that was, of course, in regard to uh, George W. Bush lying us into the Iraq war. Uh, so likely Barr is looking at that as a precedent and saying, hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to look out for Trump and I'm going to say essentially the same thing about Obama. Hey, Obama, you did a bunch of stuff that I think uh, is wrong or my fan, you know, you, you know, Trump's fans and conservatives would love to go after you on, but because a president in the future could go after Trump on all the crap that he did, well, I'm just not going to go after Obama for any of the crap that he did. Therefore, Trump is safe. So that's what this is, right? Uh, you know, hey, we don't go after presidents when they're done with their term. Wink, wink, Democrats, come on, play ball. Um, now, this decision helps Trump in the long term, uh, not only by not dragging Obama and Biden before the Senate, because they really don't uh, on the stuff that actually matters. They're not going to go after Obama, Biden. On. They're going to go. They're going to do the Ben. It's the Benghazi hearings all over again. That's what this is. Uh, and of course, they only do the things that, you know, are really more of red meat issues that they can never really prosecute anyone on. So it's all theater. It's basically is what it is. Uh, so now, um, the, the uh, bar doesn't want to set this ridiculous precedent. And yet Trump and his fans, they don't understand that they're, it, they're too stupid, right? Definitely. I can say Trump is too stupid. And so on Twitter, they raged and they raged and they raged. Uh, so now, I want to go to uh, Kat Namas, uh, who says this. Why, 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 why,
well, without the nervous part, uh, but asks, there better be some explosive changes coming soon from the Durham report, a rear F with a capital F. This has to be a ruse. Please tell me this is a ruse. Maybe this is an exercise to prove we can only trust ourselves and to strip the entire government of its power. What? Okay, wow. All right. Uh, Suze for Trump says, So, per Bill Barr, Biden and Obama will not face consequences for their treason. Treason. Okay. Uh, so disappointed in our government, Dems get away with everything criminal, while Republicans get framed and screwed over. The I, it's the projection here is amazing. Uh, another one says, kind of a bummer that no criminal investigation into Obama and D. Biden for FISA abuse was this announced by Attorney General Bill Barr. What the heck? Uh, so Biden and Obama are going to skate, another one says, according to Bill Barr, because it's an election year, we need to be fair. Got it. Uh, another one says, did you seriously think the swamp Bill Barr would investigate his POTUS Obama and VP Biden? That's crazy <laughs> to think that William Barr is on the side of Obama. No, no. Everything that William Barr has done is to help Trump. This included. And again, it's amazing they don't get it. Um, another one says, Mr. Barr, why would you not investigate Obama and Biden? They broke laws and Americans will stop following the rule of law if you don't stop this. So disappointing. Oh, no, Amer Americans not following rule of law. Could you imagine what that looks like? Perhaps people without masks and not social distancing in the Capitol. I'm just saying. <laughs> or other ways. <laughs> uh, another one says, uh, no defense of Americans harassed their businesses and no investigation of Obama and Biden. Wow, just wow. And AG Bill Barr just announced no charges will be made against Obama and Biden. Why doesn't he just include Hillary in with them? We will never see justice served. Okay, wh like what did Hillary do that was necessarily illegal? Shady, yes. I mean, come on, right? Yeah, of course Hillary Clinton has done shady things. Blatant illegal things? Not necessarily. Not that I know of. All right. Um, but then, you know, asking that question inevitably leads you down to the rabbit hole filled with YouTube conspiracy videos. I, I don't want to do I don't want to go there. I'm, I'm not going there. Uh, all right. So, look, uh, personally, I, I'm of the mind that, yes, we shouldn't just look forward. If Obama did a crime, he should be held accountable, right? So, look, and, and that should apply to everybody. The same rule should apply to everybody. Like Bush, for example. War crimes. Bush is a literal war criminal. Not a lot of people seem to be talking about that. Oh, now, of course, of course to be fair, uh, now that the Democrats are rehabilitating George W. Bush, and I'm not kidding about that, they really are, the, the so-called resistance has welcomed George Bush uh, into their ranks now uh, and forgot about that whole, you know, half a million innocent Iraqis that are dead. You know, any of that. Uh, no. No. Uh, completely rehabilitated because he's not as bad as Trump. Ridiculous. And then you have, uh, uh, of course, Trump, uh, who has targeted like people's families with drones, massively escalating the already escalated drone program, selling weapons to Saudi Arabia that are used in a genocide in Yemen. I mean, you want to talk about not following the rule of law. Donald Trump, emolument, the foreign emoluments. I mean, come on, the financial crimes, alleged financial crimes, all this stuff. I mean, you've got to be kidding. Um, but at least I'm consistent. Now, that said, other than the stuff that right-wingers don't care about, what did Obama actually do? I mean, he did, He refused to close Guantanamo Bay. Um, that's, again, uh, went after whistleblowers to prove massive spying. Uh, you would see a black sites. But nobody on the right seems to care about that. And a lot of liberals don't care about that either, unless it's a Republican doing it. No, no, no. The only thing that they're mad about, and this goes into partisan politics, right, 
is that I can't believe he would hurt my opponent's, uh, my my candidate's campaign. I mean, that's it. It really comes into uh, or goes. You know, it's it's politics. It's all politics. It's all freaking theater, and it's ridiculous. Look, if want if Obama wanted to taint Donald Trump, he would have found a way. Instead, what did Obama spend his time doing? Tanking Bernie. <laughs> so this is political garbage. And so now, look, that said, William Barr, he's not a stupid person. Okay. He knows the precedent. He knows that if he tries, he'll probably lose. Because, again, nobody really cares about those actual things that he did wrong. Um, and what it would do that would impact Trump negatively it was, is it would open up the, 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 the next administration, the next Democratic administration to go after Donald Trump. Now, you could go after him for plenty of things. The, the uh, botched coronavirus response. Over 90,000 Americans. It's not over. Foreign emoluments, campaign finance violations related to Stormy Daniels. I mean, there's a veritable smorgasbord of corruption to go after Donald Trump for when he's no longer president. But see, here's the thing. That's not civil. Oh, you can't go after your predecessor, even though they might have committed crimes. You can't do that. No, no, no. Because the establishment values civility above everything else. Barr knows that. That's why Donald Trump, when Donald Trump is no longer president, you can guarantee nobody's going to touch him. And in 10 years, he's going to be rehabilitated like George W. Bush after, you know, President uh what is it? I mean, just just take your pick of horrible people, right? That that will eventually become president in this world. Freaking Elon Musk, you know, who just uh, red pilled himself. And so, like, they're gonna they're gonna rehabilitate him. They're not gonna hold him accountable for any of this stuff when he's not in office because it's not polite. And so, to keep civility, Barr knows it's better to not go after Obama. Uh, and just, you know, let the, right, the, let the right wing continue to have their red meat because it turns them out to the polls. Um, but he's not going to go after any of the stuff that matters because it's always about elections. This is how Washington works. It is power simply out to protect power. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media